And we all know and love Patsy Pease as Kimberly Baker from <laughs> days of our lives for 30 years, right? Yes, over 30 the, years. Yeah, 30, 31 years, uh, July 26th. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. But before we get into all of that, all you soap fans, we want to go back to the beginning. Okay. I want to see here kind of where it all started. We are here at the Western Film Fair in North Carolina. Where it all began. It all began. You're a North Carolina girl. University of North Carolina School of the Arts. That's, that's here in I, Winston-Salem. Here in Winston-Salem. I, I hold the School of the Arts totally responsible for any <laughs> success I may have ever had because I did not do this by myself. Mm. I had good teachers, good coaches, good professors. Um, I had one really great dance teacher, and I will cry if I talk about this because I'm going to have dinner with her tonight. Aww. I haven't seen her in 37 years. Oh, oh that's so great. And she is the one that inspired me, encouraged me to go to New York, to not stop, to follow your dreams, and that even though, you know, I was, uh, came from a really poor background we had never gone to plays my family was like mm -hmm. really poor white trash we were from and there and there was nothing wrong with that the poverty was nothing but it was just so different from what I wanted what I dreamed of what you know it's like one of those you can't get there from here it's like well how do you get from a trailer park to being Emmy nominated to daytime television that's a great distance to it's travel. It's a huge story. How do you fulfill that kind of dream from where you are? And she said, I know it seems impossible, but I believe in you, so I want you to do mm. it. So there was one person she introduced me to in New York. I knew one person, and I got on a bus after I graduated, and I rode the bus to New York City, and I knocked on that one person's door. Wow. That's a great story, and that is the power of teachers. Of teachers in our lives. Teachers are teachers are very important. All, I honor yeah. my teachers. Teachers are, are who I they're the unsung heroes in society. Yes. I love teachers more than anybody yeah. in the world. Those are my heroes. So you went up there and you studied dance. I studied dance and I continued to study acting. I I continued to study my craft even for 37 years after I graduated because mm -hmm. they say if you don't or you don't use it you lose it. Yep. You gotta keep it oiled. Gotta keep it oiled. And I was gonna talk about this later, but it's a perfect segue. You not only continue to study yourself, but yeah. you are a teacher. Oh yeah. And you oh, are yeah. one of the accredited teachers at two Mer of the finest uh, acting institutes, the American oh. Film Institute in Los, Angeles, in Los Angeles and also the Screen Actors Guild Conservatory. Yeah. So it's you are giving nice. back because oh, of that same power so that you receive fun. from a teacher. It's the, you gotta give it away to keep it. Yeah. It isn't that ironic? It's great. With it's the great kids coming in, truth. because cause, you know, it's like you, uh, what is it called? What's taught is twice learned. Mm. And the, the people that I admire the most are teachers, so to become one is really, that's the greatest honor of all. It is. Somehow, that's more rewarding than being an actress. Yeah, it's it, so true. I have a chance to get to do that. Um, Dr. Fred's daughter, Carol Webster, um, has a performing arts. Uh, she directs that program in Roanoke. Yeah, and I get to go to teach these middle school and high schoolers. Oh, Nancy. And, and so I understand exactly what you're talking about. It's extremely fulfilling. Yes. So this little North Carolina girl goes up to New York as a premier dancer and a, as a struggling new actress. Yeah. And you landed a soap called Search for Tomorrow. I did. As a country western singer I know. here and, at Western and, Film Fair. And the thing is, I worked four years to get rid of my, my old country accent. <laughs> <laughs> I went like digga da ding dang dong, dicky ding ding, chicky ting, chang tang tong, what ding dang gong ga dong. And they said, there was a British over there that were running the school, and they said, darling, either you get rid of the accent or we get rid of you. Ooh. We don't get, to be or not to be, what's the question, Juliet? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Juliet, you it yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they, they weren't too impressed with my accent, so I worked for four years to get rid of the accent, and the first job I get said, you know, honey, why don't you put back on that accent? <laughs> <laughs> and 
And what? I did. I what? did. I know. Yeah, playing a country star. So, Search for Tomorrow, Young and the Restless, Days, Days of, our, of lives. our Lives. And, um, yeah. So, you mentioned that you were Emmy nominated for a new show, which I want to talk about, called The Bay, the which Bay. you are recurring on, and it's so exciting. I want to talk about that. But also, you won um, Soap Opera Digest Best Actress yeah. and Best Super Couple with Best Charles Super Shaughnessy. Two years in a two row. Two years in a row. Yeah. That so was awesome. you have you are a superstar, my oh, darling. Gosh. And um, Thank you, Nick. you have <laughs> soap fans all over this country. But tell us oh, about the Bay. I love it because it's a whole new delivery system and it's this whole new Isn't media. Isn't that exciting? Because you know we didn't. I didn't grow up with the internet. We we uh, we came along the time where you know you had to pound the pavement. And you had to really go door to door like and sell yourself. And now this internet comes along and opens up a whole new way of, of entertaining people. Like, you don't need to go on television and have CBS, ABC, and NBC to get your shows anymore. You can go to Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and get your shows now. So cable TV, TV like Comcast, who like cheats people and you don't get your money back and <laughs> it's hard to get them through and they're at, banging at your door, wow. constantly trying to cheat, and AT&T and all these swindlers and shysters <laughs> and you can't get them on the phone for days and you're, I know these people, I tell, come on, we're gonna, hey, we're gonna have a petition, we're gonna sign, no, we're gonna go to Congress, we're gonna get something done about these people, oh, we're gonna go Neanderthal on these people's butts. <laughs> I'm going to get my redneck out on you. <laughs> so I had it. We're off to the internet because that's the new frontier. Mm -hmm. And that's where they got Hulu and Netflix and, uh, and Amazon Prime. And that's the new ABC, NBC, and CBS. And they went, ha, 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 we're tired of you. So we're going to try to take you to a new level because we don't have the old school corporations little club that had to play by such restrictive rules anymore dictating the American public and how they spend their money. So now all these little webisodes, webisodes, I don't know if anybody's heard of those, but now these webisodes are starting to pop up all on the internet. You can go on the internet now, you don't have to even have cable. I don't have cable. I haven't had cable. You cut the cord. I you? cut the cord. The unbiblical cord and that baby went Ha, 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 ha. And so I have not had television. I am a TV actress who does not watch TV. Hmm. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, Victory Television Network, who is recording these interviews, is also one of those streaming new media yeah. outlets. So we yeah. are very excited about so this new frontier. That new frontier, so we're galloping out there, you know, to the wild, wild west, going, yee-haw, yee-haw, yee-haw. And here comes a little bay, and everybody laughed at, and they, it's like the little engine that could. Mm. I think I can, I think I can, I know I can, I know I can. They started out as like a 10-minute show, and everybody laughed at them and said, oh, this is such a dinky little show, you'll never go anywhere. Four years, five years later, well, the Academy of Motion Pictures and Arts and Sciences recognizes it as Emmy worthy. Mm. Three years in a, in a row, it's won an Emmy. It is an Emmy winning show on the internet. It is a web show. And it awesome. finally got bought by Amazon Prime, which means all of us actors that were doing it for fun and for free, now we're finally getting paid. Awesome. So we can say, CBS, NBC, you didn't want us. You said we were too old. You said we couldn't do fun roles anymore because I can only do your grandmother now. Ah, uh, I'm oh. <laughs> hey, grandmother, look at me. I, hey, 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 grandma, I can do this. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> your grandmother do that. <laughs> And you won an Emmy nomination I for did. your role on The Bay. For Lola, a role that network television would never let me even audition for. Yeah, that's I awesome. Would, I would never even get to audition for that role, much less get to act in it and end up being nominated for an that's Emmy. That's awesome. Okay, so we all know you and love you as an actress for all these wonderful years, but I also want this audience to get to know 
another side of you that I'm just so impressed with, and that is that you as a selfless and loving mother who, I'm gonna cry, she left the business yeah. for a number of years yeah. to raise your two sons, one of whom has uh, arthrogryposis. Yes. It's, it's a mouthful, but uh, my youngest son was born in 1990. Uh, it's a hereditary uh, birth defect, and he was given a 10% chance of life. Um, his diaphragm was crushed, and he couldn't breathe. All his connective tissue in his body is constricted, so he, could, he can't bend his arms, his legs, his feet, his hands. He has inoperable thumbs. He's had 14 surgeries, and um, he breathes at 40%. Um, he's had a tough time. So I left Days of Our Lives because I was getting phone calls from emergency rooms. Your son is blue. And with my job, it's not one I can say, Martha, can you come in and cover for me? I don't have a job like that. I couldn't leave NBC, it's a corporation, they will sue you if you leave. They have a show, they have to, one hour show, they have to get out every day. You cannot leave the building or you're sued. Mm -hmm. I cannot have a life with an emergency child. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's not their fault. They have a, a show that they need to get done. I'm not saying that they're, that's the bad guy and I'm the victim. I don't. I don't live a life like that. I'm saying that I had a life that was nothing but an emergency, and they have a show that has to go on. So I had to make a choice. So I mm -hmm. chose my son. So now, let me tell you how this yeah. little sucker, I don't know where he got raunchy. I don't know where he got feisty from. <laughs> <laughs> But I put in karate when he was five years old. And he went with his brother Josh every single time he could in between 14 surgeries. And I mean, he went with crutches and he went on with slings and he went with a stilt. He went with his legs patched up together. He went, he's had also surgery on his eyes. He went with patches on this eye, patches on this eye. He went with his thumbs all crumped together. He went with mm. himself wrapped in bandages. He went looking like the mummy. He went like something out of a Halloween horror movie. He went any way he could, but he showed up. Mm. And what he showed me was a lesson in showing up and not giving a hoot what other people care. Mm. By the time he's 12 years old, he broke and bored that thick with hands that it had been five operations. Wow. A thumb that's inoperable. He broke that sucker and he got a black belt at the age of 12 years old. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, determination, just like his mama. <laughs> <laughs> and recently, um, you w have gone public with your own life. Yes, I did. With some I of did. the difficulty and struggle you had as a young girl growing up. You want to yes, talk about, about that? bipolar? Yeah, well, I figured my son is my inspiration because if he could show up mm. unashamed of who he was, no secrets, then I can show up and be an inspiration too with no secrets because, see, my son's disabilities were on the outside. My disabilities are on the inside. And it would be so easy for me to pretend to you that I'm just fine and dandy. I'm a successful actress, Patsy Pease, but that's not the truth. That I'm just as handicapped in many ways on the inside with a mental illness that crippled most of my family. And there are multiple suicides in my family because nobody talked about it. It wasn't considered polite conversation. Mm. And they would rather shoot themselves in the head or take a bunch of pills and never wake up mm. than ask for help. And I decided that's not going to be my path and I hope it's not going to be anybody else's. So I chose to speak up and say, my name is Patsy Pease. I have bipolar disorder. I'm choosing to take responsibility for it today and take action and see a doctor and be responsible and do the things that I have to do to take fully 
embrace life. And I choose life, and I choose happiness, I choose family, I choose joy, I choose everything God has placed in my life to be grateful and cherish it and share it with you and to mm. give back. That's why. So how is that expressing itself in your life? Are you speaking? How are you educating the public? And apart from just opening up your own, cracking open your own life and saying, I give you now permission to be honest too with your well, own Give things. them platforms. Well, we're going to show up. We're, we're thinking, of, well, I'm getting in touch with people who actually can go raise money for places like War, West Virginia. Is War Virginia, West Virginia? who has the highest rate of suicide in the mm. entire country. It's economically depressed. Coal mines have been shut down for an extremely long period of time. And when you have people who don't have work, they don't have any hope. So you take hope away from people. You can take away a man's home. You can take away his marriage. You can take his money away. He can still survive, but you take his hope away. Mm. And that's his connection to God and you lose that connection, there's not much else to live for. And then that's untreated despair. And then you get untreated despair and that can lead to many of these suicides. So we hope that we can raise money to go in there and maybe raise jobs again for these people and do something that's tangible to get them back to work, to make them feel productive again. So, not, so it's not just oh, I listen to my story, I hope you feel better. That's not going to make, that's not going to, I mean, it's a nice story and it's good to have somebody, you know, you got a lot of people who have nice intentions, but I want to do something that makes a difference. Mm -hmm. It actually gives people their jobs. Mm -hmm. So. And their dignity. And their dignity. Mm -hmm. So. Are you writing about this? Are yeah, I have a blog. Yeah. Good, where, do we, where can we read your blog? Isn't that an ugly word, blog? <laughs> Does that strike You're anybody right. else? It's like You're something right. like booger and frog. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that something? It is yeah. ugly. Yeah. It's almost worse than ugly. That's you, Glee. <laughs> <laughs> booger and frog. Blog. But I didn't have any other choice. I didn't make up these words. That's just what they give you on this internet. <laughs> so I have this blog called Patsy's Place. I write about all sorts of stuff, and it's nice people, and it gives people also a chance if they, because, you know, they, they can have their own anonymity. Sometimes it's the only time people have come out and said their truth mm -hmm. for the first time. Wow. They don't have any other place. They don't have family members or place they feel safe, and then sometimes it's not safe for them to say anything, so they come to my blog, and mm -hmm. they just talk. It's a safe place, mm -hmm. and that's one thing that I reiterate. First off, the first opening sentence for Patsy's Place is this is a safe place for people who need to speak their truth. Wow. Well, you are doing that. You are providing hope and great so, encouragement so nice. through your life and your struggles and your experiences and your beauty. So thank you, Patsy. Thank you, Nancy. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.